Okay, set up the Rocky screen for uh, four bars, and I can see it, and it's all in line. Now I want to put the Ross Null lens in front of it. And I know the dimension for the lens. Um, look at that. From the program. It tells me where to put it. But, uh, I just guesstimate it at first. Make sure it's all lined up with the... With the screen and when I originally do the screen I know my angle of my lens is going like this the mirror is going like this coming up so as I push the Renke screen in I know I have to lower it So that's somewhat lined up. I'm starting to see an image. Let me make sure I'm close to it. Go back. I made this so the front of this is equal with the front of the lens. So this mirror tells me 36 at 7 eighths. I measure it on the side because I rotate this from the side. I get it. Let's see, and this is cool, that's inside and now that's outside. Now, sometimes the lines go like this, bow left, or they bow right, and you can adjust that by turning, rotating the structure. And sometimes the lines keystone either way and you adjust the keystone by tilting the lens to or from that. Now push this up. Let's see. And I can rotate, make sure the line straight and up and down by rotating my rocky screen. Oops. Let me get four bars in here. Oh, did I rotate it? I have to I always go back and remeasure after everything's all lined up. I got the I got the grading through the Royal Snow Lens, the PCX, lined up. So now I just push this in and up oh, you can see that the lines are bowing. Let me see, set up like say five lines. Now they're bowing to the left. So I'll rotate the lens. Alright, I'm looking. Rotate the lens in the direction of the bow. That looks right, right? Now, you could also have keystoning, like, along with the bows. The keystoning, you can see, like, one side's, even if I get the rotation right, you can see the lines are keystoning, so then that's the tilt. And you tilt. Into it, so that's about right. Isn't it just a little bit more? It's hard for me to judge while I'm filming this. And this bowing. Now, when it's extremely uncorrected, you average out the bow on the left, on the right when you're adjusting bow. And then I could just push this up. And get a couple lines in there and say, wow, that's pretty nice. 
Look at that. Now that I have everything lined up. Oh yeah, on my lens I write the numbers that I have to plug in the program. So I know this is the side that always faces me. And the other is the mirror side. Now I have everything lined up. Instead of squishing my eye all the way up to the outlet, I could use a, well, for the small mirror, I use a 40 millimeter palazzo. I have a 32 by 78 um, doublet, fermented doublet. And I can look through it, and it's easier to take images of the whole mirror through the raw snell with this lens eyepiece. Wow. That's pretty nice. That'll do it. Nice plain mirror. It's a lot better than when it originally started. That, this is my 130 F5. 